George, first of all, thank you for joining us here. Thank you very much. Now, you are uh, right now scheduled to fight Josh Koscheck. You guys have wrapped up filming on The Ultimate Fighter. You guys have very different personalities and very different styles, both of fighting and of just conducting yourself. What was it like being on the show with him? Well, I'm not going to lie. Uh... I didn't really like uh, Josh Koscheck and he doesn't like me either, so I tried to avoid him as much as I, I could. But unfortunately, it's a reality show and I had to be with him uh, almost uh, all the time. And uh, we had two different ways of coaching our team. I think my team was more on, on technical and tactical ad ad advice, and Koscheck was more on, on uh, uh, you know, like more mostly on mind game and ag aggressiveness and try to, to you know, try to intimidation. I know that once I get in the, in the octagon, they close the door and I hear the ring. Uh, all that stuff is out of the window. How much of your your training is dedicated to visualization? Fighting, there is a big science be, behind it. I, I believe I'm 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 champion. Not because I'm the strongest guy, not because also I'm the, I'm the more skilled guy. I'm very skilled, I'm very strong, I'm very athletic, I'm fast. But I think the reason why I'm champion is my mind. The way that the, my, I, I, I'm very good to using my skills to neutralize my opponent's skill and, and make the fight turn into putting the odds on my side. I think that's a key. You are very open about your fears. You're very open about the risks that you take. You're very open about not wanting to take damage. You know, I think that's very important. I think there's, it's very intelligent, the approach that you take. Um, yeah, of course, it, it's, a, it's a full contact sport. And uh, every time I step into the octagon, my well-being is on the line. And uh, I've, yes, I'm scared. I'm not, I'm not afraid to, to say it. Someone who said he doesn't, he's not afraid is because he's a liar or he's, he's a little bit crazy. How did you change the way you've, you dealt with fear? You become uh, older and more confident. You need to know yourself, know your, your opponent, know with, I guess, with who you're dealing with. And um, you need also to respect his strength, but not fear it. You know, like Josh Koshek, I've been analyzing him a lot. I respect him. I respect what he's good at, you know, his strong point, but I'm not scared of it. So in between fights, when you have a long time in between, you still work a lot on strength and conditioning? I, I, at first, there's one thing, I don't believe in strength conditioning. I don't, and I, I never do strength conditioning. I don't, I do not believe that uh, uh, doing uh, running on a treadmill or, or uh, doing, uh, I don't know what so-called machine, I don't believe uh, that's gonna help you uh, have a better cardio during the fight. I think everything in fighting is about efficiency. So you don't do strength and conditioning as far as like hitting tires with sledgehammers? And, and I never did in my life. I remember I had a, a Muay Thai instructor from France, Jean-Charles Skarboski, that I brought even on the reality show, The Ultimate Fighter. The guy smoke, I don't know how many pack of cigarettes a day. He's always drinking alcohol. He's a, he's a real character. And he's completely out of, out of shape. But when he spar with, with us in Muay Thai, he kick everyone's ass. The reason is because he's more efficient than, than we are. In the UFC, I do believe everyone is in shape. We're all athletes, you know? We all have a, a maximum VO2 max that we can reach. But I believe the reason why a guy is more tired than another guy is because one guy is more efficient than the other. One guy is, is, a, is able to bring the fight where he's, he's the strongest, and the other guy where he's, he's, not, he's, taking, he's out of his comfort zone. The only reason why it's good to lift weight, I do believe, do bench press and stuff like that, I, I believe it's because it's going to make me more marketable, it's going to keep myself more symmetric, have a better image, which is very important. Because if you look good, you, do, you feel good, and you feel good, you do good. So it's, it's nothing wrong with that, you know? So you lift weight for looks. Yeah, I lift weight for look. I, 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 I'm, I'm going to admit it. Sometime after a training, I'm going to lift weight, but I'm not doing it because I'm going to punch harder, I'm going to be stronger. I'm do, because it has nothing to do with it. I'm doing it because I want to be, you know, like a good shape, you know, and I do it for myself. How old are you now, George? I'm 29 years old. You're still not even in your prime. I hopefully not. I, I feel great. I mean, I don't have any injuries. I, you know, like I said, I train hard, but I train smart, so it, it, that's make my career uh, even longer, you know, and I hope it will stay that way. What do you think about competing in other weight classes? Because I know that there has been talk about you possibly sometime competing at 185 pounds. That's true, uh, and, I, and I plan to do it at one point in my career. The problem is not to go up. The problem is to go back down after. And it's not good to play with your health, because when you... you uh, when you gain weight and you, you jump in another weight class, the reaction time is not that different, you know? And you can, the reaction time for a, a, a fighter, it's very important. 
And you have the reaction time and the reset time. And this thing, when you add weight to yourself and you change weight class, it changes uh, according to the weight class, you know? So that, that's a problem. I want to I wanna make sure I, have, I did everything I had to do in my division before I go up. Because once I'm going to go up, I might for a little bit hold two tight on at the same time, but as soon I'm going to go up and, and you know, take care of business when I'm up, I'm going to let go my other title. I don't want to, I don't want to play with my weight like this. That's not an LT thing. What is your goal in this sport before you decide to hang it up? I want to be the Michael Jordan of mixed martial arts. I want to be the, the Tiger Wood of mixed martial arts for, for, for a different reason, of course. <laughs> not the one that we, you know what I mean? But I, I want to be, you know, that guy. I want to be the Wayne Gretzky of mixed martial arts. That, that, the one that, that he's the best at, like, of all time. Fantastic stuff, man. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you.